Hello students. Again we are back to our computer online class. I think so everyone has taken out your computer books. It's in front of you. We were in your chapter number 9 and the name of the chapter was Introducing Introduction to PowerPoint 2013. It's in your page number 113. I think so everyone has taken it out. So students, in my last class, I have explained about how we can insert the new slide. It's not it. Insertion of new slides and again inserting text, inserting pictures, then inserting pictures from files and the last one that I have explained about inserting online pictures. Yes or no? I think so regarding my last day's class, no one has any sort of doubt. So today, students, we will go to another topic of the same chapter that is your saving a presentation. How we can save a presentation, okay? You will get the saving a presentation in page number 122. Page number 122. Have you seen page number 122? You see there. The steps to save a presentation are as follows. So here all total how many steps you will get? You will get here 5 steps. Okay, you will get here 5 steps to save a presentation. So come to step 1. Click the save button on the quick access toolbar in figure 9.25 uh, uh, or press Control plus S. So here you will get in figure 9.25, you see the figure 9.25, I think so you have seen the figure 9.25, here you will get quick access toolbar, see this figure 9.25, here you will get quick access toolbar. In this figure you have seen the save button which is shown uh, in an arrow, okay you have seen this picture where the save button is there and it is shown in your arrow. So, firstly students, you are going to click to the save button. Okay. Or else another shortcut key is there for saving the presentation that is your control plus S. Okay, that is your control plus S. Or click the file tab, the backstage view appears, click save. So, if there is another way, you can go to the file tab at the bot, uh, at the topmost, okay, at the menu bar, you can go to the file tab. Okay, you can click with the help of your mouse and then you will find a backstage appears there where there is an option save, you can click it. Clear? Then you come to step 2, the save as pane appears. Step 3, select computer and then click browse. Then what you are going to do in step 3, you are going to select the computer. Okay, there is option. Okay, you see there in your figure 9.26. In figure 9.26, have you seen in your books? There you have seen the option computer. You are going to, uh, with the help of your mouse, you are going to click that computer. Okay, you are going to click that computer. And then click browse. Then we are going to click to the browse option. Okay. Here you see in figure 9.26. There is a browse option. You are going to click in that. With the help of your mouse. You are going to click to that browse. Understood students? Then you will come to your step 4. The save as dialog box will appear. Select the location where you want to save the presentation. Then you are going to do what? You have to go to the dialog box. Okay, dialog box, sorry. Save as dialog box. Okay, you will find the save as option in the figure you see 9.26. In the left hand side, you will see this uh, save as option. You are going to click in the save as option. Then you will find that uh, select the location where you want to save the presentation. In particular folder, you selected which particular folder you want to save your presentation that you have created right now. Then come to your step 5. Type the file name for the presentation and click save. As I said you before file name it means what? You want to give a particular name to your file. So you can write your own name also. Yes or no? And there you will get one option save. By default it saves the file with the extension .pptx. Now 
extension is very very important when you are talking about extension it means what here extension it means where you will get the output of your program or where you will get the output of your presentation without extension your program can't operate or your program can't work so you can say that in all the software it requests all the programming software okay all the programming software requests your extension clear so here also extension is required so after typing your file name for example i have created a presentation in my file name i have typed priyanka okay i have typed my own name priyanka then what i will do i will give the extension that is your dot pp tx now when you will create the presentation what you will do to save your file you will write your own name okay you will write your own name then you will write dot pptx this pptx is your extension okay this pptx is the extension understood this much after uh, this one typing the extension in your file name you will get the option save you are going to click to that save button okay you will get the option or a button there as a save you are going to click there when you save the presentation for the first time for the first time using the save option the save as dialog box is displayed the next time onwards the save option does not display any uh, display any dialog box it saves the change in the same file now now students you see there there are two options is not it you see there are two options in your figure 9.26 one is save another is save as so there you will get one difference if you are saving the file for your first time okay if you are saving the file for a first time then only you will get or you are going to click to the save but when you are uh, making the making many presentations okay more than one you have made it okay so that time you have to click the option save as if you are in a new presentation then you will click to your save and if you are now in your old presentation old means what you have done many times okay it's not new that time you are going to click to your save as this much is clear students however the save as option always displays a dialog box which may be used to save a presentation by a different name yes as i have said to you just now by default powerpoint presentation is saved as is saved as dot pptx so what is the extension of your powerpoint students what is the extension i have said to you it is your dot pptx okay the extension of your powerpoint is your dot pptx then however you can say the file in another file type such as pdf or powerpoint 97 to 2003 file etc by selecting the desired type in the save as type menu this all are the versions okay you can save this powerpoint in your pdf file also clear no doubt regarding this so how we can save a presentation is clear to everyone for saving the presentation how many steps are there you will get here all total five steps then what is the extension of your powerpoint the extension of your powerpoint is your dot uh, sorry dot pptx this is the extension of your powerpoint you remember this one is very important okay so what is the extension of powerpoint if i ask you what will be the answer the answer will be the extension of powerpoint is dot pptx clear students no doubt regarding this then you see closing a presentation saving a presentation i have explained you now let's come to your closing a presentation how you can close your presentation the steps to close a presentation are as follows see here step 1 click the file tab the backstage view appears so firstly you are going to click the file tab you will find that after clicking to the file tab a backstage view will appear then step 2 click close in the left pane then you are going to click to the close uh, close panel in the left pane which you will get in your left hand side 
Step 3. If the presentation has not been saved, a message box will be displayed asking you to save the changes you have made. Now here you see in figure 9.27, a message is here displayed on your screen. Want to save your changes to presentation? If you click don't save, a recent copy of this file will be temporarily available. Now see, if you want to save your file, then you have to click to the save button in figure 9.27. You see the picture there, figure there. And if you don't want to save your presentation, then you click to don't save with the help of your mouse. And if you need to cancel your presentation, then directly click to your cancel button. Clear this much? Then you see, click save if you want to save the changes. Click don't save if you don't want to save the changes. And click cancel if you want to return to the presentation. Just now that I have said to you. So these are the three steps how we can close the presentation. Clear students? No doubt regarding this? So I think so everyone has understood how we can save a presentation and how we can close a presentation. For closing a presentation you will get only three steps. From this two you can say the most important part is your what is the extension of your PowerPoint. Students what will be the answer? I think so everyone knows it as I have explained you. It will be your dot, dot, uh, dot pptx. Okay it will be your dot pptx. Without giving the extension, your file is not going to work. Extension is very, very important. Clear this much? Understood? Then again, to operate any sort of programming file, extension is required. Okay? So, students, today I have explained you about saving a presentation and your and you are closing a presentation. In my next class, I will explain you the rest part of this chapter. So, what's your homework, students? You are going to go through it, what I have explained about your closing a presentation and saving a presentation. So, students, now I am concluding my class here. Thank you to all and have a nice day ahead.